Hey guys, what's going on? It is the next day and I'm back on the chicken coop garden shed project. I've already gotten started a little bit here. I brought this trailer over that's full of rough lumber that I plan on using and also put some tin here on the top. Started building the wall. I'm going to build this wall in place instead of building it and trying to raise it because I don't know how square this camper is or level or anything like that so trying to make it work so what i'm going to do is make some cuts and build this we'll probably do a time lapse Got the wall up. I put it on 24 inch sanders that way it would save me a stud. And I scabbed some two by fours together that way I wouldn't have to cut my 12 foot two by fours. I cut one I really shouldn't have. I should have just used all the pieces because this is not structural wall whatsoever. It is just there so I can put sheathing on it. So now what I'm gonna do is take some measurements. I'm gonna start cutting that metal and uh, start putting it up. And this is what I want to do all the way around. I'll come back through and I may trim the corners up. This one's going to be fun. Down here, because this corner is at a diagonal, still don't know what I'm going to do with the front. Got that one to do as well. And then after that, it's pretty much just pulling rough lumber off. I like board and batten better but there's not enough strips in here to do board and batten so i'll just lay it horizontal all the way around still debating on the ceiling i'd really like to have something light that i could put up there 
that wouldn't be a pain i do have some corrugated metal up there that come off of an old barn i really hate to use that because it's nice as far as the patina goes but it may end up in here been sitting here debating on what to do as far as the front goes that is a lot of angles right there especially with metal so what i think i'm going to do is either stop the metal right here or stop the metal right there i'll probably stop the metal right here and then that way i can put something like wood through here a whole lot easier to cut angles on and i'll do that on this side over here i'll stop the metal right here then i'll figure something out to do with the front of this the metal's done i uh, left these two parts out because it's easier for me to cut wood to put in there than it is to try to cut the metal i did throw a piece up under there which was nice because i was wondering what i was going to do with that all the way around the metal there's some bezel rings for the windows i'm going to go get a couple and see if they're going to work after i get the metal up it'd be nice if they do if not it's no big deal this is not a beauty contest of a shed but i like to make things look as nice as possible in the next video i'm going to go ahead and start pulling the rough lumber out putting it on the walls i'm going to have to set up probably a generator down here that way i can have electricity because that rough lumber is not fun to cut with just a small circular saw it kicks back quite a bit so that'll be next time if you like this project or it interests you go ahead and hit the subscribe button as always thanks for watching